What's new at Universal Studios? That's a mystery we're gonna solve right now. Hey, what's going on everybody? Rick and Nikki here. Hello. And today we're gonna walk around Universal Studios discovering updates. And I say it that way because usually when I show up here for updates, I have a few or several updates already in hand. Today, only a couple. But I find that as I walk around, I usually discover more. But we're gonna to start today with a quick food review. At the Today Cafe. We started our theme park day a little later than usual, so we're already hungry. This for $15.99. Hoda's chopped muffalata platter. Toasted baguette with chopped mortadella, salami, ham, provolone, and romaine lettuce tossed with a muffalata dressing. For Nikki, the chicken pesto flatbread, $16.49, cauliflower crust, pesto ricotta, grilled chicken, Brussels sprouts, red peppers, mozzarella, pine nuts with a balsamic glaze. And for dessert, $6.49, this strawberry shortcake mousse. Wow, what a nice lunch all the way around. Yeah. Why don't you talk about yours first because I have reviewed that for myself in the past. Okay. I enjoyed it, but what did you think of it? So I thought it was great. Um, it was a very mild flavor to it overall. But it, um, the, I guess the pesto, or no, not the pesto, the balsamic vinaigrette had like a sweet kick to it, so that was nice. I enjoyed um, the pesto. Yes, you enjoyed the pesto, which is mild. Um, it was kind of fun to have pine nuts on yes. uh, mm -hmm. pizza. Mm -hmm. My only critique is that I personally like flatbreads to be a little bit crispier. crispier. It was a little bit, um, I guess, Underbaked for you? For my taste, for your yes. Taste. But I mean, the flavor was really nice. It was light, and I don't feel because it's gluten free. Yeah. Um, it makes me really, really happy, um, and that I'm not walking around with a food baby. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling all bloated? It, yeah, not bloated. It's a great gluten free option. It is. Sure. It is. Or for anyone flavor. really. Like I'm, I'm, I don't have to be gluten free, right. and I really like that flavor. Yes. Yes. Exactly. And I really, really like my muffalata sandwich. Yeah, you gave me like a little scoop of the inside. Right. Well, the first thing is, I'm so sorry you couldn't have the bread, the baguette. The bread they have there at the uh, Today Cafe is phenomenal. Oh. That baguette was tremendous. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I wish you could have had a bite. I know. Uh, now, the, I was surprised by the stuff inside. All the little meats and the cheeses being chopped like that. Right. In my mind, I was picturing just like slices of cheese and slices of the meat. So it was all chopped like that. <laughs> I guess to hold the dressing because the star, besides <laughs> the bread, was the dressing. Yes, yours had quite a punch in a flavor. Kick. Yeah, a compared lot of, to mine. Yeah, a lot of flavor. Right. A lot of spice, a lot of heat and kick to it. Yes. I had to, it cleared my sinuses. It was definitely more bold. Yes. Mine's more the mild and yeah. yours is the more bold. But It was good though. For me, all the other stuff was chopped just so it could hold that muffalata dressing <laughs> better. So just like, just the dressing in the bread right. was amazing. I really, really love my yeah, sandwich. So two for two, really. Those were two great, you know, options. Well, this is how good good it was, or it is. Okay. I'm trying to be healthier. Right. And when I'm trying to be healthier in a theme park, I, I try to eat only half. Right. And I kept eating it. <laughs> I meant to only have half of it. But you I, had more because it yes. was so good. I kept I kept thought I was gonna be done so right. I get to that dessert. But I'm like, oh no, one more, one more bite, one more bite, one more bite. <laughs> and, and, and speaking of the dessert, the mousse, Nikki. Yes, so again, we got a mousse that didn't have gluten, which was great. And it was a um, strawberry shortcake version of it. And yeah. I think it had like a strawberry white chocolate type shell. of shell. Yeah. Um, made it a little messy to fall apart because you have to break the shell to get to the mousse. And mousse is not... Yeah densely packed it's mousse well what i did know? i just ate the shell first yeah well, <laughs> breaking up the shell and up eating the shell, it exactly and then i have like a little gold like like fleck yeah. on um the was the strawberry yeah. so it was yeah. super cute too um but no i enjoyed that as well so i mean two great like gluten-free options at the today cafe i enjoyed awesome. i enjoyed the uh the pastry too yeah the uh the mousse yeah we shared uh, it. but it was 
you know, I like the hard shell the best. Yeah, and the, well, the flavor. <laughs> I guess the it was flavor. kind of like chocolate, maybe a white chocolate or something. Yeah, well, or it, strawberry white chocolate. Strawberry white chocolate, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, but I, I honestly think that, like, it was, okay, we'll say three for three. Yeah, oh, it was a great lunch. Yeah, the whole lunch, and after you, and you even said it off camera, you were just like, mm, this was a really great lunch. <laughs> so, yeah. And they were fast in there they for once. They were, for once. <laughs> so they, hey. All around, good job today, Cafe. <laughs> yeah, great start to things. <laughs> Not a great weather day though. Look at the the clouds and it's really breezy. You can see the palm trees kind of just swaying in the wind there. But it is nice temperature wise. True. You're not gonna be sweating today. It's not hot and muggy. No, it's nice. Universal has made a change to one of their programs. I can show you that inside of the five and dime. Now, when you purchase a Universal merchandise shopping card, $300 minimum, you will get a interactive wand. There's four to choose from. I think that used to be just like a non-interactive wand, so I think the change is that now you have the choice of four, one of four interactive wands. Another little deal they have, an exclusive offer, universal wearable blanket for only $25, which is a $50 value with a qualifying purchase of $40 or more. So spend $40 and then you can purchase the wearable blanket for $25 instead of the $50. <laughs> what is this, Halloween Horror Nights? Is this a scare zone? Beetlejuice doing Beetlejuice things. Something I just noticed the other day here in Central Park. This little retail kiosk has this plan of Central Park for the city of New York, 1860 on it. Can't believe I only noticed this a couple days ago, but I think it's pretty cool. And a couple more artist renderings. And check this out over here by the villas. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more for you. Orchids. Isn't that beautiful? It is my favorite flower. Uh, last update video, I told you about, or warned you, about ET Adventure closing just for a little bit. This update video, there's something new inside of ET's closet I have to show you. Here in the corner of the closet, a space badge machine. Looks like there are three badges to choose from, or, hey, collect all three. I'm playing around with it to try to figure out the pricing. I don't actually want to buy one, but it does not tell you the price of these badges ahead of time, so I don't know, give it a try. All touch screen, all very easy. You'll take three photos and you'll pick the one you like best to use for the badge. But as far as pricing, I'm sorry I can't help you out. What'd you think of the badges, Nikki? I thought it was odd that they didn't give you a price ahead of time. I don't know, it's kinda cute though. I mean, I don't know what I'd use it for, but it's cute. I tell you what, if I can research online and find the pricing, I'm sure I put it up now or as I was doing that whole bit. Actually, I just asked a team member. $10 per badge, 10 bucks. I did ask if you bought all three, if there was a discount, like instead of being $30, would it be $25? They said no. So it's $10 per patch. It's not bad for the price, you know, it's a cute little souvenir. I like it. And now I give you the eighth wonder of the world, the backside of Shrek's home. All right, let's head into Diagon Alley. The team member working over at the Five and Dime gave me a heads up of a new program she thinks may start tomorrow regarding if you purchase a robe here. So I'm gonna see if I can find any more information on that. I think the best place to ask my question would be Madam Malkins. So here is the deal. Starting the day you're watching this video, if you buy a robe and a wand on the same day, doesn't have to be at the same store, take your two receipts, to the Universal Studio store at the front of the park. Show them those two receipts, or one if you bought it in one, and you will receive a free non-interactive wand. And here's just a friendly reminder. It can often be very, very crowded inside of Ollivander's. 
They do sell wands here at Wands of Gagorovich. And as you can see, a little smaller crowd, a little easier to get to the wands and purchase one. This is the longest wait time I've seen for Gringotts all week. 55 minutes. What I've been seeing this week has been like 35 minutes, so a busy day today. The middle of Diagon Alley was so crowded, wasn't it? It was crazy. I've never seen it like that. People waiting for the dragon, but the thing is, it's very breezy today, very windy. Right. And if it's too windy, the dragon won't like spit her fire. Right, and you also have to look for the pilot light too. You'll hear yeah. the rumble, don't get confused with the train, because there's a train sound going by, but you'll hear a rumble and you'll see the pilot light. Right. And the entire time we were there, I didn't see it. No, but otherwise, it goes off every like 10 minutes on the tins, but just, just too breezy today. Several update videos back, I showed you that the red Corvette was missing, had been taken away, but today, the red Corvette has returned. I guess Murph is done using it. Remember, Shea Alcatraz being remodeled, I have a request to management for the remodel. They need air conditioning, and in the back they need a Murphy bed. A Murphy bed. <laughs> and on the rare cold evening, could these guys have like a little heater or something too? So in summary, that is save the wall, add air conditioning, add heat, and add a Murphy bed. So Murph, not next week, but the, maybe the week after. Yeah, Thursday or Friday. Zip lining over oh, Gators. Gator land. Gator land. Okay. Here we go. A buddy road trip. A buddy road trip. We don't have to worry about running out of gas. So make sure you are subscribed to this channel, Rick's Flicks, for theme park fun. But for fun stuff outside of the theme parks, such as zip lining over alligators and swimming with sharks, make sure you subscribe to Rick's Road Trips. Link in the description box for that one. Still working on the Lagoon Fountains for the Lagoon Show, which hopefully starts this summer. Disney Springs has already announced a drone show for there. We need some drones here at Universal. All right, enough of San Francisco, into New York City. Because of this facade with the Magic Club, I did look up the movie Desperately Seeking Susan. I vaguely remember that now, the one featuring Madonna. So it did spark that little memory once I looked it up online. And while I'm not a fan of that particular movie, I am a fan of Universal doing these little movie tributes throughout the park. I agree. I would like to say thank you to our newest channel member, Corey Schwartz. Thanks for becoming a member, buddy. Thank you. Maryland's performing over there, but I want to tell you that The Mummy is a 70 minute wait. Yes, it is a busy day. Busy, busy. Here in New York City, near Rip Ride Rocket and the Public Library and a subway tunnel, some construction walls have been erected. Too windy today for the Dragon, but not too windy for Rip Ride Rocket. It is fully operational. Pretty good long line for churros, corn dogs, and turkey legs. Well, and don't forget about the pretzels and the cheese sauce. <laughs> this rigging here used to house the concert lineup for Mardi Gras. You can see it's gone because no more Mardi Gras concerts this season. I have not been inside of the Evil Stuff store in a while. Let me pop in there and see if anything's new. I don't know if it's new, but the price is reduced, so it's probably not new. But a large canvas lounge fly with the minions there. It's down to $41.99. And what is this, Nikki? So a crossbody, and this one's um, 24. Okay. Super cute. I love the design. It's like the minions couldn't get any cuter on these. Well, there we go. I don't think it's new, right? It wouldn't be down. It wouldn't be marked down. Is that one marked down, though? No, this one's That not one's not marked down. down. No. Okay. But the large one is. Yeah. And speaking of a price reduction, this UOAP VillainCon t-shirt, under $10. And this one is a grand opening t-shirt, also $9.99. So I feel like today's video may be a little shorter than usual. So I am placing above Nikki's head a video I have hand selected for you. Don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Click it.